Hey, welcome, welcome everybody. I am going to talk about salad in a jar today because you know, all of our produce is coming off the gardens. You can go to the market, there's lots of fresh vegetables. If you're getting your boxes of vegetables coming in, you wanna be able to make sure you're using everything. And a salad in a jar is a really great convenient way of being prepared. So it's part of the prep, uh, prepping your meals. And if you're making a salad, why not make a salad in a jar at the same time? So I actually have a chart here. If you guys want this chart, just DM me and I'll private message it to you. And it's how do you layer a salad in a jar, okay? So the first layer is always your dressing. The second layer is heavy vegetables, like hearty vegetables, I should say, like cucumbers and carrots and onions and, and things like that. So they're hearty, tomatoes, things like that. The next layer is a protein. So you can put fish, you can put burgers, you can put beans, you can do whatever you want in there. The next layer is a soft vegetable. So when you're thinking soft vegetables, think avocados, corn, strawberries, uh, peas, things like that. And then grains and pastas. You don't want that sitting, getting soggy at the bottom. You want it sort of on the top. So think quinoa, think pasta, um, Orzo is another really great uh, noodle you can use in pasta salads or in salads. And then you're gonna layer it with cheese and nuts if you want that. And then you put your greens on top. So I always love using large mouth jars. Can you figure out why? It's just easier to stuff. And when you build a huge jar like this, that's a really big salad. To me, that could probably feed two people. I like using these, these size jars with the big large mouth. And that's how I like to, I'll do two or three like this. I never make more than two or three salads at a time because I don't want them to, to waste. So you're gonna start with the salad dressing, okay? And when I'm making salad dressings with Epicure, as you know, there are tons and tons of different Epicure salad dressing mixes that you can grab a hold of. And what I love about them is that they're very, 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 very versatile. There's even some that I'm missing here. So there's such a wide variety and you can think outside of the jar than just salad dressings with them. What I love, and for like, I'm not bullshitting anybody here, is I love that I can make what I need, the quantity I need, and I'm not wasting salad dressing. I don't have to look at a jar in the fridge and I haven't had a jar of salad dressing in my fridge for probably 18 years because I simply use the Epicure ones. And uh, there's lots of preservatives and additives in those salad dressings, okay? So tonight, you can just try different ones. I'm actually, one of my favorites is the balsamic. So I'm gonna simply make a balsamic salad dressing for one, because I'm only making a small jar. I might make two jars, if, we'll see what my vegetables are like. So you start with olive oil. So if I'm making for one person, like one salad dressing, um, I want about a tablespoon of oil. Uh, I'll do two tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of vinegar, and one tablespoon of spice blend. I'll make sure that, that my recipes that I do with these, the base will be on this sheet for you, okay, for salad dressings. Um, so that'll take a few minutes. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of olive oil or whatever oil you want. And what's cool, right, is if you are doing an Asian salad dressing, you could use sesame, uh, like a sesame oil. If you're using, um, you can do avocado oil. If you're not allergic to peanut oil, you can use peanut oil. Think outside because all those different flavors of olive oils, or oils, I should say, and don't use vegetable oil. That's nasty stuff. Um, or canola, canola oil, any of that stuff, that's really not good for you. Anyhow, um, my choice is olive oil and avocado oil. Then I like to use a really cool balsamic. So you can do a dark balsamic, but my favorite is a white balsamic by PC. It's very inexpensive, it's really tasty, and it's sweeter and lighter than a black balsamic. But you can use, if you're doing Asian, think about an Asian, like a rice vinegar. I've done that before, white plain vinegar. There's so many different vinegars out there. And there are some places that have like some, um, I, can, I, will, I will go to those 
uh, what are they called? The oil and vinegar specialty sops and pick up really good flavored oils and flavored vinegars. And I will use them with my Epicure salad dressings, okay? That's what I do all the time. I'm just gonna get another measuring spoon. That's why you should have two measuring spoons, one for wet, one for dry. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon. So I like a lot of dressing in mine. Give that a stir. And this is enough dressing to do two jars, okay? So I'm gonna add a tablespoon, two tablespoons in one jar, two tablespoons in the other, okay? Now, what would be the first layer? Your first layer, and I'll probably do the small jar for now. The first layer has got to be um, a hearty vegetable, okay? So you think carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, those kinds of onions. So in here, I've got some tomatoes, some mini ones from my garden. So I'll throw those on the bottom of both jars. You can cut them if you want, but I kept my tomatoes uh, intact because they're nice and small. Then I'm gonna put some onion in both jars. I'll add my cucumbers that I chopped up ahead of time. It's got a bit of cucumber in each jar. And really it's whatever, think about what all the vegetables you have in your fridge that you need to use up. So that's what I did prior to coming live, is I just went in my fridge and went, okay, what do I need to use? because um, I bought a produce box from the produce guys last week and I'm still using, I'm still using those vegetables. So I didn't order one this week. And that's the beauty of um, these boxes. You can just uh, postpone your subscription. So I've got peppers. So I dropped tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, and peppers. That's my first layer. Now it's gonna ask me for protein. So you can do beans, you can do um, chickpeas, hard boiled eggs. I have a little bit of salmon here. So I'm just gonna throw some salmon in that layer. Some people go, oh my God, smoked salmon. Yes, smoked salmon, I love smoked salmon. And so I'm just throwing that on the bottom. Then what happens is the next layer is your soft vegetables. So think avocado, if I had some fruit, like apples, strawberries, blueberries, any of that stuff. But I've got avocados, so I'm gonna put a layer of avocado in on both of these. And see, I'm not building a great big one on the big side. That's a lot of greens, in my opinion. That's a big salad. Okay, and then from there, if you had, this would be the next layer, it's telling me, would be your grains and your pasta. So think quinoa, Think um, pasta, orzo, different things like that. Then you would have your nuts, then you would have your cheese, and then you put your greens. So I'm gonna put in, I've got romaine lettuce here that I chopped up. I got some cilantro that I chopped up, so I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah, pure cilantro, just like this, because I came in my box last week and I'm still using it. I washed it all up, got everything cleaned, and I'm still using that produce. So these are actually rad, um, radish greens. I picked this up at, the, at uh, the market in Woodstock. There's an incredible guy who does all kinds of greens, and they lost. That's almost this, I think I bought them two weeks ago, and they're still good, so. All right, so there are my two salads in a jar, okay, with the dressing on the bottom. You just put the lids on, throw them in the fridge, and when you need them, it's a really good grab and go. So you got picnics, great for picnics. You've got a meeting that you need to be at. These jars, I'm not kidding you, these jars, or if you go to a fast food place and buy their salads, I haven't done that in years. I'm guessing, if you guys know how much a salad is at, uh, at any of the food, uh, fast food places, I would think they're anywhere from 12 to 15 to $18. Come on guys, let's save some money, have some fresh vegetables at home and build yourself some salads that would take cost you so far less. Like this might cost me three bucks a jar. So I hope this is inspiring you. If you want my salad in a jar worksheet, please DM me, I'll send it to you. Have some fun cooking up and making amazing meals for yourself with all the fresh produce that's in the gardens, at the markets, 
and uh, let's work together to save money and not waste anything from your fridge. Take care and have an awesome day, guys. Bye.